Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Dot-A-Cure Jelly Sandwich Stamped. I'm going to start off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and this is OPI Color Paints Silver Canvas. And then we have Wet n Wild French White Cream and Wet n Wild Black Cream. I'll be using this little finger palette, but I can't wear it on my finger. It makes me crazy. And some dotting tools in a couple of different sizes. And this is the OPI Color Paints. And this one is called Chromatic Orange. And I have painted them with my base coat and my base color. And I'm just going in with my bigger end of my dotting tool with the white paint. And I've put a few dots on, or a couple of dots on each hand, each nail. And now I'm going in with the black with a smaller dotting tool. And I'm going to do that to all of my nails. And we're just going to build this manicure up from the bottom to the top. And I'm, I'm not using like a real pattern, but when I try not to do a pattern, I kind of end up with one. And here we go. Now that I've let those dry down completely, I'm going to top them off with a thin layer of the chromatic orange. The jelly like color paints. They're kind of see through. And I am going to be sure to cap that in. And then I'm going to let this dry. And we're going to go in and do this process all over again. I'm going to start with the white dots and the bigger end of the dotting tool. And then move to the black dots with a smaller dotting tool. And I get a little crazy with it. And I know you've got to be looking at this thinking, oh Lord, what is she doing? Girl, that's wild. That's crazy. But when we get done with this manicure, you'll see. It turned out really, really pretty. I think at this point, I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't have used a peel-off base coat. <laughs> ah. And I'm actually doing pretty good with my dots today. I know in the past when I've tried to do dotting on camera, I just become a shaky mess. So my hand's a little steadier today and I'm actually getting circles. Yay! So here we go. We have let those dry down completely and I'm going to put one more layer of this chromatic orange on top. And capping that end again. It wouldn't be my video without a visit from Mr. Orangewood Stick. We're going to top this manicure off with some posh top coat and we're going to let it dry completely. I don't want to mess anything up. And also by doing this, if I make a mistake on the stamping, I can take it off and start over. This is Messy Mansion Plate 20. It's one of my favorite stamping plates and I will be using one of my favorite images today. This is the Nicole Diary NS01, their white stamping polish. And I am using my Faber Nail Scraper and my Starry Night Stamper from Born Pretty. So there we go, now it makes sense, huh? Now on this image, I'm rotating it on all the different fingers. I'm not putting the pattern in the same direction at the same area on each nail. I'm mixing it up completely. Some are going sideways, some are up and down, some are diagonal and I'm just you know doing them any which way and I'm trying to clean up most of this with the tape and I do have pretty good luck getting most of it up but not all of it so we will have to come in with a cleanup brush some of it's being stubborn and there we go just like I said the cleanup brush is in action but you're getting to see a better close-up of what I was going for. This is a flower print and it just looks so cool with all those different colors jumping out from behind. And I'm going to top this one off with Posh. My husband saw me doing this and he thought it looked real Halloween. And after I got completely done, I don't see Halloween but I do kind of see fall. But that's okay. I told y'all wear what I want when I want, <laughs> right? A little bit more cleanup with the orange wood stick. But I really do hope you enjoyed this one. I really loved it. I got lots and lots of compliments on it. 
was just so out of the ordinary. And here is my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.